What is up? This is your LA in a Minute, and it's no secret that the most important resource in Southern California is water. And in a semi-desert region with nearly unbridled growth, supplying enough water is a quest that becomes more crucial every year. But thanks to the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California, nearly 19 million people are able to have fresh, clean water every day, making them the largest supplier of water in the United States. Let's get into it. It's no overstatement to say that Los Angeles and Southern California simply could not have developed without the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California. Since it was established in 1928, MWD has been instrumental in securing and delivering water to millions of residents across a vast service area that now covers more than 5,200 square miles, serving six Southern California counties. The scope and scale of this operation are nearly unfathomable. MWD owns and operates an extensive network of facilities, including the Colorado River Aqueduct, three major reservoirs, six smaller reservoirs, 830 miles of large-scale pipes, 15 hydroelectric facilities, five water treatment plants, and six pump plants. Wow! The genesis of MWD was in the early 20th century, when Southern California first saw a population boom, and solving the challenge of dwindling local water supplies became paramount. The Los Angeles Aqueduct was a glorious solution in 1913, but that simply laid the foundation for more growth and demand for water. To address this challenge, the California legislature established the Metropolitan Water District with a primary objective, to build and operate the Colorado River Aqueduct. This massive infrastructure project would bring much needed water from the Colorado River directly to the people of Southern California. During the Great Depression, Southern California residents voted for a bond to fund the construction of the 242-mile Colorado River Aqueduct. This project not only promised essential water supplies, but also generated badly needed jobs for about 35,000 workers, including tunnel borers, miners, engineers, and support staff. This also included the first water treatment plant, named after the district's initial chief engineer and general manager, Frank E. Wayman. The plant is located in Laverne, and it's renowned for its beautiful Mission Revival-style architecture. But it's not just a gorgeous structure. It was the first water treatment plant built by Metropolitan Water District, and it's also the largest in the entire region. On June 17, 1941, water from the Colorado River first flowed through Weymouth to Pasadena, one of the original 13 cities whose voters approved the bond. Within two months, new communities jumped on board as water was flowing to Beverly Hills, Burbank, Compton, and Santa Monica, with Orange County soon following. In the 1950s, LA's continuous dry spells through the region led to a significant expansion of metropolitan service area. New cities sought reliable water supplies, and MWD's reach grew substantially. By 1960, Metropolitan became the largest contractor for the state water project, which included the construction of the 444-mile California Aqueduct, a substantial impact on the development of Southern California. Since 1990, Metropolitan has contributed over $1.7 billion to help fund conservation and 116 local water projects, helping to produce nearly 8.5 million acre-feet of water per year. That's roughly 2.8 billion gallons of water. Throughout its history, MWD has adapted to challenges. In the 1990s, extended drought prompted a shift towards conservation, recycling, and groundwater cleanup, and seawater desalination, marking an adaptation and strategy that continues today, as evidenced by the construction of Diamond Valley Lake in 2000, which doubled the region's water storage capacity, especially important in recurring drought years. One of Metropolitan's most ambitious current projects is Pure Water Southern California, a partnership with the Los Angeles County Sanitation Districts, a program that aims to purify and reuse cleaned wastewater that currently flows into the ocean, potentially producing 150 million gallons of purified water daily at full scale. By providing a reliable water supply, Metropolitan has enabled the growth of cities, industries, and agriculture across Southern California. Its infrastructure and water management strategies have helped the region withstand droughts and continue to thrive despite limited local water resources. And its commitment to environmental stewardship is seen in many projects. It's on all of us to be mindful of protecting resources, especially water, the most precious of them all. To learn more, go to BeWaterWise.com. All right, LA, it's been a minute.